Data was collected for a sample of organic snacks. The amount of sugar in milligrams in each snack is summarized in the histogram below. Histogram is used to display or to represent quantitative data. It could be discrete data or it could be continuous data. In this case, we know it's continuous because it, it is the amount of sugar in milligram. What distinguishes the uh, histogram is the bars that are connected to one another. As you can see, the numbers at the bottom, those numbers represent the lower class limit. Each of these bars is, represents a class and the height of each bar is going to be the frequency of that class. So we usually write it as 220 and then comma 225 with open parentheses on this side, meaning that 220 is included, but 225 isn't included. We write it like that, 220 comma 225 open. But sometimes we just uh, subtract one from here and we say, um, we say this is 124 especially if this is uh, discrete values and we close the parentheses on both sides. So these numbers at the bottom first of all represent the lower class limits. To find first the class width, the class width is basically you can find it by finding the difference between two consecutive lower class limits or two consecutive upper class limits. So if you take the number 225 and subtract 220 that will give you the class width, which is five. The second thing we can find is the size of the sample. The size of the sample is basically how many data values are there in that sample. So if you find the frequency of each of these bars and add them together, this is how you're gonna end up finding the sample size n. So this is the frequency is one, the frequency here is three, the frequency here is seven, the frequency here is 13, this is 11, and this one is 4, and this one is 4. So if you add all of these numbers up, I'm going to add them. The answer is 43. So the sample size here is 43.